How's it going guys? Welcome back to A Singaporean Life. I'm your host Tiara and today we will be talking about the coronavirus situation. So as you guys know, it is a very, very serious uh, worldwide situation right now and everybody is basically panicking about uh, you know uh, whether they have enough stocks to last them throughout the entire virus or uh, how many people the virus is going to infect and the infection rates is actually just crazy it's uh, killed more people than SARS already and it is definitely not something to be joked about but for today's video we are going to be playing Plague Incorporated, alright, so those of you guys who do not know why it's Plague Incorporated, it is actually a game whereby you get to play as different types of viruses and then uh, you can infect people. So it's really funny that uh, this game is sort of, uh, this situation right now, you can actually simulate it inside the game itself and it's really, cu uh, quite, I'm quite curious to see what will happen if you play as the coronavirus in Play Incorporated. So today, that is what we are going to be doing. All right, so here are my phone, and then we are going to start playing right here. Okay, so I'm going to turn on my screen recorder on my phone. Okay, so this is a modded APK. It is uh, not the uh, freaking... It is not the new... Uh, it is not from the Play Store directly because I don't want to spend money on this game. So let's see how we do. Okay, select a plate type. Right, uh, we have vac uh, bacteria, virus, fungus, parasite, prion, nanovirus, and bioweapon. So I'm going to uh, select virus because that's what it is. Um, coronavirus virus, right? Alright, so we are going to use a uh, normal difficulty. And we are going to name this COVID-19 because that is the official name of the... Coronavirus. Alright, so this modified APK, I have everything unlocked already. So let us select some uh, D, some genes. Alright, let's see here. Get more DNA. Okay, let's get... Uh, what should we get? Let's get metabolic jump. Travel genes. Increased chance of plague spreading by land, sea. Infectivity uh, spreading by air. Alright, so... We are, we are not going to try and win this game. What I'm going to try and do is mimic as closely as possible the virus inside the game. So we are going to see what will happen, okay, if the virus plays out. And we are going, uh, not going to try and win this. We are going to try to make it as accurate as possible to the current situation of the virus. So right now I can select uh, how some bonuses here, like chance of plague spreading by land, sea, Infectivity in starting country. All right, let's select this. Uh, evolution genes. All right, bonus DNA when devolving. Symptom cost don't increase, but easier to cure. Transmission cost don't increase, but easier to cure. Causes to devolve don't increase. Ability cost don't increase, but easier to cure. All right, so let us select. Hmm, what shall we select? All right, let's select symptostasis. I think we'll be Getting quite a lot of sim symptoms for this. Alright. Now, this next one. Uh, plague mutating. Your plague can mutate transmissions. Easier to cure. Plague is harder to cure. Alright. So, let's just get this uh, genetic mimic. Making the plague uh, harder to cure. Because that's what we want, definitely. And then, uh, let's see. Get a bonus in... Okay, so, the plague started in uh, Wuhan. So, Wuhan is... a uh, Place in China and let's see, what shall we get? Rural, urban... Okay, Wuhan is, uh, I would say it's a semi-urban area. It's not entirely rural, definitely. It's not 100% urban either. I would say it's quite urban, but it's not like super CBD area type of urban. So, arid climates, humid climates. Hmm. What's the weather like in Wuhan? I'm not sure. I think it's pretty... Uh, no, let's just go with extreme or far. We'll get a small bonus for everything. Let us start. All right, let's go. Hop on to plate. All right. So, let's see here. China, of course. You want to start it in China. All right, let's go. Let's pop the bubbles here. And we have COVID-19. All right. So, now I'm going to uh, evolve the virus according to how it evolves. So, 
I have played uh, this game before, played Incorporator, and the way to win is basically you want to keep evolving your transmissions, but you want to if uh you you can evolve symptoms, but you don't want to make it fatal. If you make it fatal, they will discover the virus very quickly, and then they will just wipe you out. But we are not going to try and win today. We are going to try and see what is the most. Uh, we are trying to mimic the virus as closely as possible. All right. So symptoms. Let's start with symptoms. What do you have? Insomnia. No. Sis. No. Okay. Coughing, nausea, or rash. Okay. Definitely cough. Uh, coughing. All right. And we will see uh, what else we have. So, okay, successfully evolved COVID-19. Let's fast forward this a little bit. Uh, and you can randomly mutate because it is a virus type. That is just the nature of the game. Okay, I'm not sure if it is like this in real life. Let's pop this. All right, so let's uh, try to evolve something else again. Livestock. This is the number one thing that started the infection, guys. Now, the bad video... That's just bullshit, okay? Uh, the bad video, bad video didn't even come from China. So, guys, get your sources right. Uh, don't spread fake news. Get your sources right before you decide uh, on whether or not the uh, it all came from eating bats. Yes, the virus came from bats, but uh, the video, the viral video that shows people eating bats, that's Indonesia. That's not even freaking China. So, get your sources right, guys. All right, so evolve livestock one. And let's see here. COVID-19 begins to spread, alright. So I can't really control the spread of this. So it will spread to different places uh, uh, by itself, okay. So that's just the nature of it. And let's see, let's evolve something else. Uh, sneezing or pneumonia, okay. Ah, pneumonia, okay. Pneumonia is uh, one of the cases, is one of the symptoms of that. So we'll get pneumonia. I think we'll get sneezing next. Okay, let's get sneezing as well. We can get that pulmonary all this nonsense fever we can get fever later um let's get transmission as well Ooh, develop insomnia we don't want that because there isn't any insomnia for the actual virus not that i actually know of okay so let's remove insomnia we don't want that kids laughing that is pretty sadistic okay um so Apart from livestock, I think we'll evolve a uh, livestock one more. And that causes uh, 13 points, birds, rodents, and insects. Okay, it's not really uh, birds and rodents. It's I would say it's just livestock in general. Because uh, the main epicenter of the spread, it actually started from the livestock market inside Wuhan. Okay, so it's already infected thousands in China. Right, uh, air and water, we'll work on that later. I think we'll work on livestock first because I think that is more uh, realistic to how it actually happens. So already 35,000 infected, guys. This is crazy. Okay, fever symptom mutated. We'll keep that because fever is uh, one of the traits. Okay. Nice, 13 at last. Let's get uh, livestock too. And then next, I think we will get air. I think it spreads through the air, so we'll get the air. Transmission. Ooh, coughing sounds, guys. All right. Ship users new uh, sterilizing techniques. Okay. Ah. Okay, we're getting some nice uh, red DNA bubbles here. Okay. So for air, we only need uh, 11 points. More infectious than TB already. Wow. Okay, now we got a whole bunch of points. Let's evolve air. Um, symptoms. Let's look at our symptoms now. What else do we have? Sweating, skin lesions, immune suppression. Okay. Lung significantly. Okay. Immune suppression. I'm not sure if there's immune suppression for the actual one. Uh, pulmonary fibrosis. Shortness of breath and extreme coughing. Uh, pulmo pulmonary odemia. Potentially fatal heart abnormality. Causes breakdown of respiratory system releasing, uh, Pathogen, uh, pathogen into the air. I don't think that's that. Okay, we'll evolve some abilities as well. Um, we'll get drug resistance because I think it is uh, definitely not easy to cure. So let's get that. Alright, cis symptom mutated. No, there's no cis for the coronavirus. So we'll have to evolve that. Unfortunately, we don't have enough points. Let's evolve cis. Okay, cost 4 DNA points. 
Oh wow, okay. Uh let's get the drug resistance too as well. It's 26 points. That is quite a lot. New Maya dis disease spreading. Okay, first death in China. Finally we have our first death in China. Okay, that is pretty scary. <laughs> Okay, to be very honest, I have not uh, really played this game on uh, volume before, so I'm going to turn down the volume just a little bit. It's getting a little bit loud here. Let's uh, evolve Air 2. Alright, let us get uh, hmm, genetic hardening. Harder to analyze in the lab. They are analyzing the Wuhan virus, but we'll just get one of those. Okay. And also recently, oh, immune suppression symptom mutated. Okay, let's see here. Let's look at our symptoms again. Immune suppression. Hmm. Uh, I'm, I'm no doctor here, so we'll keep that for now. China shuts down airports. Uh, let's go for water. I think it's spread by water. There was this cruise ship from Japan, wasn't there? So we'll get water as well. Let's see, can COVID-19 destroy the world? Guys, this is a simulation. Oh man, looks like it's getting worse. Insomnia symptom. Okay, we have to de uh, devolve that because there definitely isn't insomnia from what I know or at least from what I'm reading. Immune suppression, honestly, I really don't know. Um, but we'll keep it there. I think to some extent it does because it affects the young and the old. I think we'll evolve... Uh, Fatal heart abnormality. I don't think we have that. Scarring of the lungs, shortness of breath, and extreme coughing. I think there's this. We we'll get pulmonary fibrosis. A total organ failure. I don't think there is that. Oops. Okay, let's pop these bubbles. More infectious than the common cold. Yes, definitely very infectious indeed. Okay. So, uh, what is this? Blood. No, we don't have blood to blood contact. Insect, rodent, bird. Uh, I don't think most of that is a trait, so we will not get that. Let's get water too, because I think it spreads pretty quickly by water as well. Then we have extreme bio aerosol. Okay, I don't think we have reached that point yet, so I will not get that. Um, symptoms and abilities. Alright. Uh, I don't think there's any of these here, so I don't think we uh, can get any of these. Nausea. I don't think there's nausea. Okay, so we will not get that. Let's get... Uh, Heat and cold resistance. Hmm. It started, uh, there's already cases in Iceland and the European countries whereby it's a bit cool, cooler there. So we'll get cold resistance because I think the virus does have some form of uh, cool resistance. Heat resistance. Alright. So it's pretty predominant in Southeast Asia, which is very hot and humid. So the, the virus definitely has heat resistance as well. So we'll be picking that up. Killed more than the Black Death. Wow. Okay. Cyst symptom mutated. Alright, we will have to devolve that because there are no cyst uh, symptoms for the Wuhan virus. COVID-19 virus, I mean. Alright, um, we'll get cold resistance too as well. And let's see, uh, Iceland or Greenland is still uh, relatively safe. Anemia, okay, uh, we won't get anemia. Because uh, the actual one, it doesn't have anemia. Okay, let's get a second heat resistance, 28 points. Canada leading global cure effort. Alright, so let's pick this up, heat resistance. Hmm. Environmental hardening. I'm not sure if we reached there yet though. Sis, we are going to have to divorce sis symptoms. Alright. Let's see here. I feel like we should be able to get extreme bio aerosol. Yep, I feel like we should get that because uh, it's definitely spreading like the plague right now and it's just crazy guys. It's just crazy. Alright, um, I don't think I'll get any more for transmission. There's not much for blood insects or birds. So uh, to keep it as real life as possible, we are not, we will not be upgrading any more transmissions for 
the symptoms part, I don't think there's anything else, but the lethality rate is pretty low right now. So, yeah, total organ failure. Hmm. I don't think there's total organ failure, so I don't think we can get that. Let's uh let's see what we have. More work. genetic pathogen uh DNA strands reassemble. Okay, genetic hardening too. Okay, uh let's get this. Okay, because I think it's very hard for them to cure, and it's not twenty five percent complete. Nausea symptom mutated. All right, I honestly don't know if there's nausea symptoms. Um, yeah, and right now. Greenland has been infected, guys. Greenland has been infected. All right, we have to take away cis. Uh, I think we'll take away nausea. I don't think nausea is really a symptom at all right now. So I'm trying to uh, make it as true to real life as possible. Environmental hardening. I do believe right now uh, the virus can survive in almost all environments. We've seen it in hot and humid countries like Southeast Asia where it first originated. We've seen it in uh, cooler countries already like... Uh, Italy, like uh, France, like uh, what do you call that? A uh, green Iceland. So let's evolve environmental hardening. I feel like we uh, genetic reshuffle. We might be uh, we might get that as well. Insomnia symptom mutated. No, we have to evolve that because there is no insomnia symptom for Wuhan. All right, fifty percent complete and. Right now, the whole world is almost infected, which is good. But that being said, oh, total organ failure mutated. We'll have to take that away. Coma. Does it lead to coma? Hmm. Right now, I'm thinking. <laughs> okay, so coma, I don't think it leads to that. We are going to have to devolve this. I don't think that's total organ failure. Right, so at this point, what you want to do is you want to just wipe them out as quickly as possible by making as many deaths as possible. But... That being said, we are not trying to win the game. We are trying to make it as close to real life as possible. So let's devolve uh, rashes. There's no rashes here. Oh, I can't devolve it. Wow. I don't think I have enough points to devolve it. Oh, 75% complete. Looks like the world may uh, cure Wuhan. Okay. Genetic reshuffle. We don't have enough points for that. Yeah, so it looks like we are not going to win this uh, by the looks of it. 85% cyst symptoms. We have to... Yeah, we don't even have enough points to evolve the symptoms right here. Yep, not enough. 90% and the whole world is almost infected basically, but uh, the death rate isn't a lot, which is quite similar to real life. So there's not a lot of deaths right now. But that being said, I think we have lost the game. Alright, the cure is complete and you can see here people are starting to get cured and yeah, we did not win the game, unfortunately. <laughs> or oh, fortunately, okay, so... This is how it plays out, guys. So basically, this is how Wuhan is going to play out, at least based off Plague Incorporated, the game. So, they... If they will get, er it will get eradicated eventually. It doesn't have a super high mortality rate, but... The infectivity rate is uh, literally off the charts. And... Let's take a look here. Disease graph. Yep, infectivity super high. Severity not so high. It's mostly affecting the young and the old right now. Uh, strong adults usually uh, they are not at risk of being infected so easily or at risk of dying. Lethality. Okay, the lethality rate right now it's not super high compared to the infectivity rate, but it is on the rise. So I guess uh, that is pretty accurate. Let's look at the world graph. Here, yep, not a lot of deaths, quite a lot of infected, and of course, once they reach the cure, then, yep, you just get, uh, everybody just gets cured. So, eradicated in 462 days, that is about one year and four months, close to four months, yeah, almost one year, four months, I think, one year, three months, yeah, one year, three months, okay, around one year, three months plus, and if that is how long it's going to take, for them to cure the virus, then we are pretty screwed. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And let me just pause, uh, stop the recording first, okay? So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. And if you have, be sure to give it a thumbs up. The Wuhan virus is definitely not something that uh, should be joked about or taken lightly. Please take care of yourselves. Wear a mask if you're sick. Drink plenty of water. 
And yeah, please uh, take care of yourself, especially if you have the young and the old at home, you should avoid going out yourself so that you do not bring the virus back home and infect more people. Um, you stay at home, play games, watch my videos, you know. Yeah, until the next time, I'm your host, Jala. Peace out.